Why? Why? Shut up. Why? Oh, wow. Answer my question. Did okay? we trigger you? Sir, sir, why are you playing with the woman? Why are you taking away a real woman's spot? I just, I'm just You're asking not allowed questions. Over here. Who are you, ma'am? You're not allowed over here. Why? why hey, don't touch, don't touch me. Why are you allowing men to play with biological females? Sir, why are you taking away a spot from a real woman? Hey, excuse me. Don't touch me, sir. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. What's wrong with you? Why are men playing with women? We saw it with their own eyes, and now they're changing this. Hey, coach. Coach, why why are you playing male players? Why are you playing male players? I'm not. Biological males. Why are you doing that? What happened to chivalry? It's not that. Why are you transphobic, huh? Why? Am I being transphobic? Why? Shut up. Why? Oh, wow. Answer my question. Did okay? we trigger you? I hope you can go rot in hell, you f***ing wife. Oh, did we trigger okay, you? Okay. You have a pussy, so you're a woman. That's sir, are you, are you suffering from mental illness? I'm sorry, I'm... You have a f***ing vagina. I don't give a f*** if you have a vagina. David Menzies for Rebel News here at Centennial College in Toronto. And we have the latest example of transanity to the power of five, quite literally. We were tipped off that this female volleyball game that we witnessed earlier featured not one, not two, not three, not four, but five men pretending to be females. Three were on Seneca, two were on Centennial. Gee, can you imagine which side won? Not only that, the male players were always on the court. So you had biological female substitutes just sitting on the bench for the entire game. Here's another egregious thing about allowing biological men to compete on the female varsity team. Some of these women are getting scholarships in which to play volleyball, i.e. they are using this sport to pay for their tuition. When a guy gets on the team in place of a female, that benefit is negated. Also, folks, we couldn't help but notice the perverse irony when we read the mission statement of Centennial. For example, in part, it reads values, integrity, passion, growth, family, equity, diversity. I'm sorry, but if you think that allowing men to get a spot on the female team is an example of integrity, equity, and diversity, you're dead wrong. All it really is, is garden variety misogyny. Folks, let me tell you, we only found out about this perversity on the volleyball court thanks to our tips line. Somebody reached out to us, just as someone reached out to us about Nicholas Sapita, the 50-year-old man who identifies as a girl, so, you know, he can swim as well as change and shower with real 13-year-old girls. It's awful. What I'm trying to tell you is keep those tips coming. Don't be shy. Let us know what's going on out there so we can bring common sense back into a biosphere that has been infected with transanity. Please go to transmadness.com. That's transmadness.com. Sign the petition, and if you can help us do this independent journalism, because you'll never see the mainstream media here covering something like this, kindly make a donation. In terms of my camera woman, Avery and I recording, we were just sitting down, minding our own business, and here, uh, check out these jabronis that formed a human wall to block our recording. What's up? Don't show my match. Nobody's asking you to leave. Okay. If anybody asks, let me know. Thank you. Uh, nothing's against you guys. I appreciate that. It's just about recording. I want you guys to stop recording. Okay. Folks, we were tipped off about this by insiders in female volleyball, which think this is absolutely outrageous. So much so that uh, real biological women have needed medical assistance thanks to taking spikes 
off their head. That's a spike ball, I mean. And sure enough, when we watched the game, there were four games played. Seneca won three games to one out of five. And um, clearly, the males were the dominant players when it came to serving and spiking. And by the way, while we were watching and we weren't doing anything, a security guard came to us, wanted to, wanted us to leave, said we were causing a disturbance, and a fan in the crowd went to bat for us. Here, check it out. Well, we're not causing any problems. So. I understand you're not, okay. but we have a policy in terms of coming to games and watching if there's any media coverage or there's any stories or anything along those lines. We ask people to send us an email. Oh, publicly funded. I understand, yeah. but we're allowed to choose who comes in. Yeah. We're being disruptive. You called the police. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And well, we tried to scrum them. And you know what? I was having deja vu. It was kind of like when Efren and I went out to Fergus back in July. We had all this interference, much of it from women. Uh, yeah, biological women who are aiding and abetting men invading female sports. Excuse me, sir, sir, why are you playing with the woman? Why are you taking away a real woman's spot? Are you a misogynist? Excuse me. Huh? Who are you? Here. I'm just, I'm just You're asking not questions. Over here. Who are you, ma'am? You're not allowed over here. Why, why well, hey, don't touch, don't touch me. me. You touched me, you no. ran into me. You ran That's into me, on. we got it on camera, ma'am. Security. Call, Call security. security, okay. Why are you allowing men to play with biological females? Sir, why are you taking away a spot from a real woman? Look at this, folks. Look. Hey, excuse me. Don't touch me, sir. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. What's wrong with you? Why are men playing with... Don't touch me. Huh? Why are men playing with women? Are you a misogynist? Can you please leave? Why... Why are you aiding and abetting the attack on women's sports? Do you think it's right that a biological man should play against women? So folks, look at this. Just like in Fergus, there are people aiding and abetting these gender bending grifters. I mean, and some of them are women, if you can imagine this. And again, they bump into us and say that we're assaulting them. And I just find this an absolutely egregious state of affairs. The game was spectacular for all the wrong reasons. Namely, the male players excelled as you would expect in serving and spiking. We saw it with their own eyes and now they're changing and they say, hey coach, 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 why, why are you playing male players? Coach, why are you playing male players? I'm not. Well, they are, they're male, they're biological males. Why are you doing that? What happened to chivalry? It's not that in my mind. Huh? Well, that was the coach and he's got no problem with this. And I kind of understand it. I guess as a coach, you want to win regardless of the tactics you use. I guess cheating is the way you do it. Seneca beat Centennial. Seneca has three men on their team. Centennial has only two. Clearly we know why Seneca won. Um, Centennial was just outmanned, literally outmanned. Oh, by the way, it's Ryan Miller, right? What do you feel about using males on female? Oh, suddenly you're not that talkative. Look at that. <laughs> I'm not asking you guys sure. to stop recording. Okay. You guys are very valid point that everybody over there on the stage, they are recording. They are placed as part of police. Not everybody can come down and start recording, right? Well, we, we're trying to scrum the, the male players, but we'll leave. You're a nice guy. We don't want to cause you trouble. Okay. This is an outrage. We saw it with our own eyes. We tried to scrum the coach. Uh, he's perfectly fine with it. Now we're getting the stink eye from security. This is here. I don't want to get this to you. Oh, is that a trespass notice? Yeah, I don't want to get this to you. Oh. You guys have already told me that you guys are leaving. Okay, we'll go right now. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you. Have a good night, guys. I have a question. So do you think what you said was you know, respectful? Oh, what do you think about biological males uh, playing against real women, well, sir? I would not like to engage in this conversation because I think you're very... You think no, we're no, no. very... This topic, though, and why are you filming me? You don't have my permission. Uh, we don't need your permission. Okay, we're in a public so space. Why are you talking to me, then? Uh, well, you came to us, actually. Oh, you came to me. 
Uh, no, so you came to us. Why are you being disrespectful then? Huh? Why are you being disrespectful? I'm, yeah. well, why are you being transphobic? Am I being transphobic? Why? You shut up. Why? Oh, wow. Answer my question. Did okay? we trigger you? No, you didn't trigger are me. Are you trans too? Do I look trans to you? Uh, who knows these days? Okay, so why are you what about you characters? Then? How about you guys? No comment. I, I hope you can go rot in hell, you f***ing wife. Wow. What happened to Love Trump's hate? <laughs> what? You own this place? Oh, did we trigger you? Okay, okay. okay. Did, I'm a f***ing woman, don't did, tell me. You have a f***ing vagina. I don't give a f***ing if you have a vagina. Did we trigger you, sir? Or ma'am? Okay, first of all, I wasn't talking to you, so shut your uh -huh. And you, well, I don't care if you <laughs> Wow. Okay. Well. Sir, are you, are you suffering from mental illness? Sir, why would you want to uh, strike a biological female? Yeah. You guys watching this? Can you believe this? You have men pretending to be females playing volleyball with real females. Does, does anyone want to weigh in on this? No, everyone's taking the silent treatment. Wow, look at this threesome. More, more proof that there's ample mental illness in this community, I should think. Yeah, I think so. Why do you have to be, uh, why do you have to use profanity, sir? Huh? Why do you have to use profanity, ma'am? I don't give a about what I have to say, okay? Okay. Get the out of this building. Wait. Oh, are you the owner, sir? Or ma'am? Well, folks, a little P.S. As you just saw, not only were transgendered individuals, I don't know if they're men, women, lobsters, you name it, not only were they on the court, they were up in the stands as fans, and uh, I think we triggered them. Folks, I guess at the end of the day, the question is this, who do we have more contempt for? The cheaters, i.e. the men pretending to be women who are gaming the system, or those in charge of the sport who are aiding and abetting this grotesque charade? And my source tells me that the presence of these men, all of whom have their male wedding tackle still intact, by the way, that means the female players, the real woman, are too concerned to change in the room, too concerned to shower, so they do that when they get home. If you think this is diversity, equity, and inclusion, it is not. This is garden variety misogyny, and it is not only being tolerated, it is being celebrated. We're gonna keep on this file until we can turn the pendulum, until we can get back to normal and save women's safe spaces be it sports, shelters, or prisons. For Rebel News, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Well, can you believe that, folks? We came to a female volleyball game and it turned into, oh, sorry, who are you? Oh, sorry, no. Uh, why are you touching me like that? Uh, because you're pretty, uh, no, you came to me. So folks, it's kind of funny. My camera woman, Avery, and I came to a female volleyball game. Guess what? It turned into a version of Sausage Fest. Five male players were on the volleyball court. Can you imagine? Taking away spaces from real women. If you think this is offside, please go to transmadness.com. That's transmadness.com. Sign the petition. And if you can help us do this independent journalism, because you'll never see the mainstream media here covering something like this, kindly make a donation.